Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Travis Patel. In this video, I'm going to be going through a case study on how we're going to sell these Ace of Spade bottle openers. Now, this is a you know solid piece of metal. Got this off of AliExpress. We bulk ordered about 200 of these, and you know got them for under 50 cents a piece. Going to sell them for probably like five to ten dollars on our store. And throughout this case study, I'm going to be going through that whole process, showing you how we're doing that, the message we're advertising, how to set the product, all those different pieces. So hope you guys enjoy this one. If you have any questions or comments throughout, feel free to hit me up. And we're going to go ahead and skip on over here to the actual case study. So thanks guys. All right. So the plan for this campaign is very simple. This is a great product to use in a demonstration video because it's something that has a use. So we're using this bottle opener to open beer bottles or whatever it may be. So I'm going to create a video to show this. And this is going to be kind of our lead in our traffic source that's going to create that group of people that we can continue to target with these you know deals for this product um, and different beer gadgets and beer related items in the back end so that's what we're going to do with this campaign first step of course is we need to create the product up or the product listing on our store we're going to use just a general store here i don't have anything any store specific to beer gadgets or anything like that so this is just kind of a newer niche on this store that we're going to hit with a new type of product and see how it goes so since I do have the product stocked, we do have a few hundred in store, um, I was able to create the video ourselves, and we were also able to take some pictures, um, some stock pictures just that we can use for the opening graphics, the opening ads, all that type of stuff. So we'll use this, and then also we have the Alley uh, Express listing which we can just use that standard one as well. These are all things that you know you can test out as you're going. So let's go ahead and make our listing. All right, we're gonna track inventory. And we have about 200, but we'll say 150. We could even do like a countdown bar on the sales page that says we have this many left available. So now we can check that out. Looks good. Six ninety nine. All right, so now we need to go ahead and start the advertising. I went ahead and created this just a second ago. Beer gadgets. Did a Google search for beer gadgets, found a bunch of cool little things. Just gonna post some pictures. And then we're going to add our advertisement here. So maybe I should do the video, I think, since we're leading with the video. I'll show you what I recorded here. So we can really just post that. link. All right, we're going to publish that. And that can be one of our starting ads. We'll probably do video ads and we'll do PPE ads. So we'll do a PPE ad set to start on the post here. We'll also do video view ads on probably maybe a separate uploading of the video where it's kind of like a dark post or an unpublished post. 
All right, so there we go. Double check our links and everything. Looks good. Now later we can also do just a normal picture post that we'll have on, you know, as our retargeting audience and, and our retargeting ads and stuff like that. We can post that later on. All right, so we have our ad. Next off, what we need to do is just go ahead and start those advertisements himself. Create a new ad. We'll start by doing the PPE ads to that post. Spades, bottle opener, PPE. There we go, page post engagement. Let's say we're going to separate our first ad sets, male and female. More than likely, males will react better to this, I'd say. But we will do two ad sets, one male, one female, just to test that out. 25. When you're doing anything, alcohol or anything, you got to always be above 21. 54. I'm just going to target very broad beer terms. Mobile only. This will be the fan page post video. All right, so we'll go here. We'll change this up. Five dollars a day to start. Hit our targeting. Brewers, be able to dial it in a little bit more. I'm trying to get, let's just actually, we'll just go with the beer interest. Actually, screw it. I'll go with the smaller one. Eight million people. Looks good. Mobile only, turn off our Instagram, our desktop. It's going to let an automatic bid. Behaviors, beer. It's a behavior, that's why it's smaller. So, yeah, I'm going to actually go with behaviors, try that one out instead of interest. Now we'll change up the ad, grab our page we just created, select our post, track through our pixel, looks good. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and start creating all the other ad sets and targeting angles that I want to test out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and test out the interest beer as well. That was really large. Just gonna test them against each other, really. And there's a lot, you know, better ways that we could dial this in, target more specific buyers. But I'm just gonna go really broad on this, just kind of to show you. Sometimes you can go broad. We'll see how well that turns out. We'll also probably do a few dialed-in interest which to really find that, I would head to the audience insights. And then we can find, you know, different types of interest. Beer magazine, all about beer magazine, beer magazine. We'll actually do a, one of our, our other ad sets will be all magazines. It's about 150. All right, so about 250,000 there, that's good. All right, so head back in our power editor, we'll 
change this as well duplicate one more time so right here we'll just start with like fifteen dollars a day trying it out you also see some selections down here All right, so we're about 150,000 with that audience. Good place to start. All right, we're gonna double check everything. This is just our first PPE ads. Next off, what we wanna do is we're gonna duplicate these, same targeting, but we're gonna create a video view set. And this is going to create some custom audiences that are going to grow and build that we can retarget later on. We also definitely want to set up retargeting audiences for the landing page of the beer bottle opener and the add to cart and the checkout pixel and the, the audiences, things like that. So Ace of Spades bottle opener video. All right. Values placement looks good. Little video views on this one because it's a different type of optimization. Now, the ad we definitely want to create new, so we're going to create a new ad. interest one first and then this is the video views all right so same fan page we're going to create an ad this time create our video or upload our video all right select that sucker like to add a button shop now We want to make sure that's checked for our audiences. Those are those audiences I was talking about. Our tracking. Here's our pixel. Let's go ahead and. create our audiences as well grabbing that content ID and go ahead and upload these Events. We're going to go with a view content, content IDs, exclusion event. Now this is for creating an audience of 
all the guy, all the people who visit the page but do not add the product to cart. Spades. Use no ATC. Now we're going to create a second audience of people who add the product to cart but don't purchase, and then a last audience of people who purchase the product. This gives us three audiences that we can advertise to in different ways. Alright, so that's pretty much us guys. We have the ads are started. We have our audiences in place. Um, what this is going to do now, you're going to have custom audiences being built from those videos that we're going to be able to retarget. We're going to have custom audiences being built from those who vi visit the actual page that we're going to be able to retarget. And you just saw three different styles of, of audiences that we can target differently. Here's our video view ads. We get also three from the PPE ads. Anytime you advertise a video, you'll get these, uh, these video um, custom audiences available. So those are all good things to use, and we'll just see how it goes here. we got to let some money spend and let the audiences build, see which areas. We can definitely do a lot more on our targeting because this is a very broad product, a very broad audience. We'll see how well it does across the whole spectrum. And we just had this box of uh, bottle openers we're trying to unload and we'll see how it goes. So I'll touch back on this later in a few days and we'll see how it goes, guys. Thanks again for joining me. My name is Travis Patel. This very stuff is what we're talking about with Phil in the upcoming webinar where we're taking it from just doing the one-off drop shipping to where we can actually brand and and really have that authority business in whatever niche it is. All these Ace Bottle Openers, we're sending them to a middleman fulfiller who will be branding them with our 19th logo and sending them out in an efficient manner so it's not taking that 30 to 45 days coming from China and stuff like that. So this is all the advantages of taking these steps. This is kind of that step two of the evolution of the e-commerce business like I talked about in a recent Periscope. And that's exactly what we're trying to help you do. So we'd love to see you on the webinar. Definitely go ahead and sign up there. Um, there will be a replay and all that. You'll see the link here at the video. But thanks again, guys. My name is Travis Patel. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one.